Well, hello there again, it's me, Kevin Rick, and in this video, we are going to find the oblique asymptote of a rational function. If the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is 1 more than the degree of the polynomial in the denominator, the horizontal asymptote will not exist, but an oblique asymptote will exist. We talked about horizontal asymptote in the previous video. And we said that if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote will not exist. Pero, kung ang degree ng numerator ay lamang ng isa sa degree ng denominator, then there is an oblique asymptote. So, in the given rational function, sa una, meron siyang oblique asymptote kasi isa lang ang lamang ng degree nung nasa taas sa degree nung nasa baba. So, tingnan mo, ang degree nung nasa taas is 2. At ang degree nung nasa baba is 1. So, isa lang ang lamang. Sa rational function number 2, uh, wala siyang oblique asymptote kasi dalawa ang lamang ng degree nung nasa taas. To get kasi the oblique asymptote, we are going to divide the function, the rational function. And kung i-divide natin yung function na to, the result will be a linear equation. And take note that a linear equation has a graph of a straight line. Compared naman dito, kung i-divide natin yung function na to, the result will be quadratic. And yung quadratic ay may graph na parabola. Ang oblique asymptote ay straight line. Parabola is definitely not a straight line. So let's try to find and graph the oblique asymptote of the following functions. So sabi ko nga, para makuha yung oblique asymptote, we divide the function using the long division. So, x squared minus x plus 2 divided by x minus 3. So, first step, you divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, x squared divided by x. So, kung hindi mo to alam, okay, you can write it vertically. So, x squared divided by x, that is x Actually, yung x squared, we can expand it as x times x. We can cancel that one, and so the quotient is x. So, x ang ilalagay natin dyan. The next step is to multiply this to the divisor. So, x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. At ano ba ang ginagawa kapag ka-division? We are going to subtract. So, x squared minus x squared is actually 0. Negative x minus negative 3x is positive 2x. Okay, we are going to bring down the last term. That is positive 2. And then, we're going to repeat step 1 again. I-divide natin yung first term dito by the first term of the divisor. So, 2x divided by x. Okay, kung medyo nalilito ka pa, isulat mo yan vertically. So, 2x divided by x. Cancel, cancel. The quotient is 2. So, positive 2 po yan. Ang sunod doon is to multiply this to the divisor. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. We are going to subtract again. 2x minus 2x, 0. Positive 2 minus negative 6, ang sagot ay 8. Okay. So, um, sa pagkuha ng oblique asymptote, hindi natin papakialaman ang remainder. So, ang kukunin lang natin dito is yung itong part na to. So, we are going to equate this to y. Our oblique asymptote is y equals x plus 2. So, nakabot tayo ng linear equation. Ang sunod lang dyan ay igra-graph at Maraming paraan kung paano mag-graph ng linear equation, pero for me, I am just going to use the slope method, slope-intercept method. So, paano ba yun? Always remember that this is written in slope-intercept form, and we can easily plot the y-intercept. Ang y-intercept natin ay 2. 
alam naman natin na ang y-intercept is located in the y-axis. So, positive 2, we are going to mark this one. Yan ang ating y-intercept. And using the slope, pwede ko nang ma-graph yung linear equation na to. So, ang slope is 1. Always remember na ang slope ay rise over run. Ang slope natin ay 1. Or we can rewrite it as 1 over 1. Kasi dito natin malalaman kung ilang units katataas or bababa or magpapakaliwa or papakanan. Since 1 ang numerator ng slope, I will be going up 1 unit. Next, the slope has a denominator of 1, positive 1, kaya I am going 1 unit to the right. And I'm going to mark that na. After that, I'm just going to draw a line through the points. And that is the oblique asymptote of this rational function. Let's have one more. x squared plus, okay, this is a quadratic expression and my missing term. So kung nagdi-divide tayo ng polynomial and there is a missing term, maglagay tayo ng placeholder or like a dummy. Kasi di ba normally, ang quadratic expression ay parang ganito. Dito kasi sa quadratic expression, missing yung second term. So maglalagay tayo ng dummy or a placeholder to substitute yung wala. So 0x plus 6 divided by x minus 2 x squared divided by x, that is actually x. We're going to multiply x to the divisor. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. We subtract. We bring down 6. And 2x divided by x, that's 2. And 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. We subtract. That is 0, and positive 6 minus negative 4 is 10. And we are going to get what's in here. Huwag natin pakialaman ang remainder. Kunin lang natin yung ito. And we are going to graph it. Well, I think this is a coincidence. Parehas yung sagot natin sa last example. So, paano ulit ang pag-graph? You plot the y-intercept. Tingnan ang slope. So, ang slope natin ay 1. So, tataas tayo ng isa, magpaparight ng isa. We're going to draw. So, I think it's a coincidence na parehas pa yung sagot sa uh, previous example. Pero, at least, uh, I've shown you that if there is a missing term, you put a placeholder or a dummy variable. So, that's how you get and uh, graph the uh, oblique asymptote. If you have a hard time dividing polynomials, please review your grade 10 notes. Anyway, I